Hey guys, this is Denver and this is a quick guide to installing Stardew Valley modding API, also known as Smappy. Um, so let's start things off with backing up our saved games. Uh, it's very important. We don't want to corrupt file, um, leaving us with nothing in all the things that we've worked for so, so far in Stardew Valley. So open up this Windows Start button down here and type in percent app data percent. And what that will do is uh, give you access to this file folder right here. You can hit enter. You can just click on it. It'll bring you in here um, to our roaming app data folder, uh, along with other programs that use the same folder to store information. Find the Stardew Valley folder, go into saves, make sure that it's the correct folder. And what you can do is just right click and copy. Um, now what you do with this, now that you have it copied, is you can go into anywhere. If you want to go into just documents, you can go ahead and uh, click paste. You can just leave it on your desktop over here. Like I am on my other monitor. I always just leave it on my desktop. That way, if anything happens, you can just grab it, take it back into the other folder and uh, rewrite it and go back to where you started from. Uh, and that's sort of a just in case. Let's take a second step and make sure um, that we don't lose all of our information. Right click Stardew Valley from your Steam library and go into backup game files scroll all the way down until you find stardew valley let's see oh there it is i passed it and you can see mine is checked if yours is unchecked go ahead and check that hit next it'll put it into the steam back backups folder uh or you can change that if you want to it's up to you go through all those uh steps and make sure you're backed up i'm just gonna hit cancel since i already have that done okay so the next step is actually downloading smappy very easy open up your browser go to any search engine you want i use google just type in smappy that's it hit enter and what you'll see uh two, these two top links are pretty much the same i just click the very top one i get it directly from github um and what you will look for is this four players and then download smappy whatever version it is it is Obviously, I see 1.8. It doesn't matter what you see. Just get whatever latest version is on there, okay? Depending on uh, whenever you're watching this video. So, download Smappy. Click it. If you're using Google Chrome, it will pop up down here at the bottom of the page. Um, what I do, you can go, you can access this from your downloads folder, but I just click this, this arrow and click show in folder. Now you can see the downloads folder and you can see a zipped file of Smappy. It's a compressed file, so we have to decompress it or unzip it. So if you use 7-zip, whatever you want to use, I built, I use the built-in uh, Windows 10 tool called, uh, well, I guess it's, it just gives you the option, option to extract all. So I click that and this keeps popping up on the other monitor. Um, it, it tells me that it's going to drop it back into the downloads folder. I'm okay with that. So I let it do its thing. Um, this went a little quicker. Sometimes it'll be a little slower for you. That's fine, depending on how fast your computer is. Um, I just close that and I make sure that there they are. They're both in there. So this is the one I will actually use. I can now delete this one, but may as well keep it in for now. So um, to look into this folder, sometimes if you're really lucky, you'll be able to click install here. <laughs> I don't even know if luck has anything to do with it or just dropping the install folder actually into your Stardew Valley folder, but I don't worry about this at all. You'll probably find the same error that I do. If not, good for you. Things are much easier for you. Other than that, it takes just a few extra seconds. So if you look in internal here, you can go to Windows, of course, if you're using Windows. And then what you'll do is you you will click and drag this into the Stardew Valley folder. Where is that folder, you ask? Easy to get to. Go back into your Steam library, find Stardew Valley, right click it, go to Properties, Local Files, and browse local files and it's just right there and remember that for any game that you ever have in steam because oh man it's it's a it's not a fun thing trying to find it through steam apps steam apps and common all the time so i'm going to bring this over here that way when i bring this folder up um i am ready to copy and paste this into here yours obviously will look at a little different than mine i already have everything installed but i'll show you it's all the same you can hit Control a you can uh, shift click all of these, you can copy it, you can paste it in here, or you can just do what I do and just click and drag and just throw it over here in this empty space, because why not? Um, for me, it says replace the files. If you also have files to replace, just go ahead and replace them. It won't hurt anything. Um, it won't ruin any saved folder or saved files or anything that you have. So go ahead and replace those files and you can see the new files that were just placed in here. So, um, 
<clears throat> what we're looking at here is two different exe executable files or applications um, this is your normal one if you don't want to mod you you figure it's not it's not worth it for you and you're not sure oh geez what do i delete now don't worry about it everything's the same you could just run stardew valley from this one as you always have and always will and that's actually how stardew valley is ran through steam is from this executable file right here so whenever you click this play it runs through here and so you won't get mods ever through that i mean you could change this don't worry about that for now if you want to play with your mods that you install like i have these ones installed here and actually i'll, I'll show you how to install um, this better milking one in just a second this one right here is uh, what you'll start up and what it will do. Let me bring the window over. It'll tell you, okay, loading, 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 depending on how many mods you have. And that's it. And then, it, and then it'll load up. If you can hear it on my other screen, maybe you can't. Uh, but either way, it opened up on my main monitor. So that is the one that you will open up to use your mods. What I do is I right click, I do create shortcut, it'll put it in here, but then you can just click and drag it. It'll still stay in here, um, but it doesn't matter. You can have it sitting in there. It's not gonna hurt anything. You could delete it too, I, I assume, and, and everything will be fine. You can, you, you it just, I mean, whatever you wanna do, you can even probably just click and drag that onto your desktop too. Um, with no repercussions whatsoever. So um, that's how you open up Stardew Valley modding uh, API. And now let's check out the mods. So um, forget this mappy, everything's good to go. It should be fine. Go ahead and open that up and make sure that everything's working fine. Um, if not, it doesn't matter. I mean, worst case scenario, guys, you can just uninstall and then just reinstall Stardew Valley and everything will be the same. So uh, let's open up nexus mod so what i want you guys to do is type in nexus and there you can see it there i already typed it in it's it's called uh <clears throat> nexusmods.com backslash stardew valley you can see it's the top one here you can just type in the html address exactly if you want to um and when you when you go here you can see like files browse files it, there's there's a lot to look at here I mean, the modding community is very alive um, they do a great job too. be careful though there are some like sketchy mods and stuff that just don't work and are, are going to be more of a hassle so i always use like some of the more like popular mods as opposed to like brand new ones that uh i don't know if i can trust yet so um i'm gonna get better milking just because uh i don't know it seems it actually seems pretty cool um you don't normally get a gif here that's showing you how to how to do those things but it's you know it's just it's just something handy like i said in my last video it's just things that don't break the game but maybe should be in the game in the first place so you can download download this excuse me from files or you can just click download up here and it's going to take you pretty much to the same place you click this link right here and continue with my download it's basically giving you a warning that says you need smappy to use this yep we already did that so we're good to go just close out of this and I look down here and it says it's already done. I go into my downloads folder or just click show in folder here and there it is. I just need to unzip it and that's it. So I go to extract all again and uh, this thing keeps popping up on the other screen. It's driving me nuts. So I extract it and there it is right there in my downloads folder. So that's it. So I've got it and you can see it definitely go into each mod as you download them and figure out what you need to actually click and drag over. So you want to always drag the folder that's actually holding the contents. Here's the contents and you can see like the JSON files. Um, but here's the, here's the contents and there is my Stardew Valley um, uh, files. Yeah. So I've got mods right here. And what I do is I just click and I drag that and it goes into mods and that's it. It's in there. It's ready to go. Um, the only issue that it would have is if it didn't interact with these mods well. Um, and if so, if I get in there and the game crashes, I just want to come out here, click delete and get rid of that. So um, that's it, guys. Make sure you start from Stardew Valley modding or Stardew modding API. And uh, and that's how you mod a game. And that's how you um, play with mods. It's awesome. <laughs> if you don't have PC, I hope you enjoyed this video anyways. If this video did help you out, definitely uh, hit like down there guys if you can it really helps me out and uh pushes this video through the like millions of other videos that are <laughs> that are all over youtube so um thank you guys for watching if you have any questions i'm trying to think if if i forgot anything but if you have any questions type down below leave a comment and i'll try to give as detailed as a response as possible so i hope this covered it if you weren't using windows 10 if you weren't using steam um i don't have a lot of tools that can help you but there are quite a few other videos out there for installing and downloading smappy and uh hopefully those will work for you i know with gog if you're using um from your desktop if you're using like a uh, just a 
uh, what do they call it? Just a, an icon. You can like right click it and go into properties. And I think you can change like the target or something where it actually some somewhere in here where you can actually change the target from where it opens up from. So um, you would just change that from this Stardew Valley exe to this one. Um, but other than that, yeah, leave, leave some questions, guys. Uh, if you find any cool mods that you want me to check out and spotlight in uh, my next video, I'm going to do another mods video since you guys enjoy the first one a lot. Um, just to spotlight some mods and show you, uh, you know, what Stardew Valley is, is capable of actually doing besides just the what they would call the vanilla game. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching, listening, and uh, I'll, see, I'll see you guys in the next video.